Harvest Land Global Launch is right around the corner and I'm making a beginner tips and tricks video to help you guys in your early game and your journey in the game. These tips are going to be really helpful for you guys to understand the game a little bit better. So hopefully they'll help you guys out. Make sure you guys tune into my videos because I will be making a bunch of guides on Taurus Land. But let's get into the tips. So tip number one is when you're choosing your class, you need to know what kind of attributes you guys should focus on where to check the attributes for your class i have a lot of questions about this is you go right here and this should tell you if you ever done any math classes in kindergarten or elementary school you guys know what this means right bigger than the other so glancing here will be my main stat when i'm in the frozen spec my secondary best attribute will be omni and cooldown they're equal so omni and cooldown are both the the best secondary stat and then stamina is my third best stat, focus is my fourth best stat, and strength is my last best stat. If I spec to, for example, the DPS spec, everybody will have this different. If I go here, check out the attributes again, you will see combo now is my main stat. Omni and cooldown is my secondary best stat. Strength is my third best stat, focus is the, my fourth best stat, and stamina is my five best stat. So make sure you're always focusing on your main stat, which will be Omni, and then your secondary stat, etc. Number two which is more about vigor is once you run out of vigor and you need more to increase your crafting level or whatever there's two ways to get more vigor one is through fishing so if you fish in this game you can get you have a chance to get a silver dart fish you can get one vigor every time you get it or use it so if i have this right now and i use this fish in my bag i will get a vigor and the other thing is the stamina potion you can get the stamina potion by doing the event which will be the daily event or a seven day event and then you can also get this by exploring and getting chests around the world so if you collect this chest you have a chance to get bigger potions through that so that would be my main uh, tip regarding vigor number three is explore areas get rewards reputation and use the interactive map there's several interactive maps out there my link one in uh, under the video but in the world during certain uh for example and cash you can see that i have all of the reputation unlocked in and cash land of conflict but not wasteland rune so i'm missing some things right here which is a book so make sure you guys are doing these this will give you a lot of rewards in the reputation shop and uh, reputation is super important to this game so make sure you guys are exploring the area so at the start of the game the ant cash tribe will probably only be open on the next day they will open land of conflict on the third day they open waste lands of ruins so make sure you guys are checking out every day which maps are opening so you guys can go there explore and get some really good items that will help you in your journey next up is tip number four in this game you have a reputation like i just showed you you want to be leveling the reputation but when you're collecting these chests you're collecting uh you want to like let's say you don't have a flying mount because you get the flying mount later on by having a high enough reputation there's going to be certain feathers chests and items that's going to be at places that are hard to get for example you need to go all the way up there to get that item and then in this game you can crank 90s you can get these stairs and you can basically go up to places and explore in different areas that you need to now how do you get these kind of items is you very easy you go to the market you go to shop you go to future items and you can get them right here all the stuff you need some chests are inside roots and wines so you want to use a flamethrower to get to them tumbolina basically makes you smaller so if you need to go under certain areas uh hidden chest you can use the tumbolina and then the magic stairs you can buy them with silver very cheap okay and here you can also buy bait for fishing so make sure you guys buy them through silver it's going to be very important if you see people using stairs magic stairs all that stuff you know they bought it from here now number five remember there are certain reward limits to raids and dungeons uh, when you do raids and you do dungeons there is as you can see reward chances when you get gears one out of one make sure like for example this boss resets every three days these bosses reset every seven days and then when it comes to dungeons right here these dungeons reset every six days uh every day i mean you get two more rewards so make sure you guys are using rewards don't let it hit six out of six same with the arcane realm right right here i have six out of six so if i don't do any more arcane realm today 
I won't be able to get more rewards. So you want to make sure that this this number is always under four. So four out of six because tomorrow I'll get six out of six again. So don't waste out on rewards. Make sure you guys are doing your dungeons, doing the content. Again, you can store up to three days for most of the content. So make sure you just do it and don't waste out on any extra rewards. I mean, it's not the end of the day if you do waste out, but don't do it. Same with like events such as uh, Dark Invasion and stuff. Every two days they reset. World Boss, same thing. It, you know, look at this. It's reset. I need to go do this to get these rewards. So make sure you're watching out for that uh, and doing that content that you need to do. Next up we have is number six. Guys, please. I don't know if you can do this on mobile or it's PC. Customize your UI. If you need to make your HP bar look bigger, smaller, you can customize absolutely everything from your skill bar, every single small part of the skill bar to the chat bar. If you want to have, if you're a healer, you probably want to have a bigger team bar and probably closer to you. So if you're doing that, make sure you guys design the UI. I would, I'll be, I would do that immediately. When I get into the game, I will probably fix my keybinds and customize my UI. So you can look at, make it easy for you to, yeah, look around. Number seven, the manual of a destiny shop, this thing right here. So these are basically coins, destiny tokens that you get, uh, by playing the game. And, uh, th and this shop gives you good items, gives you scrap stones, gives you stamina potions for vigor. If you need more vigor, you can buy this right here. Hey, gems, all that stuff. This shop resets once a week. I don't know when the weekly reset will be. It will be on Fridays. They might change it, but it will reset once a week. So make sure you guys buy this out before the weekly reset. Don't miss out on it. It might happen that when the game launches, there's probably two or three days until the first reset. So make sure you buy out the shop before the two, three days uh, coming for the weekly reset. Find out the day that the weekly reset is on and then buy this out ASAP. Number eight, remember the auction house right here? Auction house closes at certain times during the day. Find out when the time is, I think it's between midnight and 4 a.m. server time. Uh, because during that time, you cannot buy, you cannot sell anything on the auction house, which basically means if you are planning to do raids late and you need potions and you have a stacked up burst potions, all that, or empowerments, all that stuff, uh, you're out of luck. You gotta wait till the auction house open again. So remember, the auction house opens and closes. If you can sell stuff in the market, you'll be crafting all day, hoarding up, ready to sell. Then you sell it. The auction house might close it an hour later, right? So you might you might be out of luck. So make sure you guys check. Remember, auction house opens and closes at certain times and during the day. Make sure you check it out. Number nine on this list is remember this game has in-game guides for raids and dungeons. If you are scared, you don't want to enter raids or dungeons. Don't be afraid because you want you think you're gonna fail. Don't worry. If you're not with the guild, you're doing pugs. If you go here, right here will give you a full guide on what you need for this raid. You click on this guide, it will tell you exactly all the boss skills. It will tell you the challenge strategy. It will tell you the boss mechanics. It even gives you some tips uh, if it's available. And then if you click on attributes, it will tell you the stats that you need or around kind of what you need. Uh, to be able to challenge this boss uh, and defeat it. So make sure you use these guide and attributes that are in the game. Also watch YouTube guys, of course, on my channel if you want to. Uh, probably should, but read these guys. You don't have to like go deep dive in, but just like you kind of know what, what the raid is all about. So you don't like fail the group or whatever, right? And then when you queue into raids, make sure you guys are collecting the re correct roles. So because if I make a team right here, right now, I'm in DPS spec. But right here, you want to make sure that you're in the correct spec right now. So you switch here, right here to whatever spec that you want to play. Make sure you're in the right spec when you queue up. Number 10, remember at the early game, especially do your achievements right here for gold. Because if you do these achievements, certain of these achievements gives some gold right here, I think. Uh, and they give rare metals that you can do to buy gear. So for example, for assault right here, it gives me gold. If I do all these achievements, I can get gold. So I can enter this in elite mode. I can do this to get some extra gold. Number 11 on this list, guys, this is very important. You guys should do this if you can ASAP. In the trading house, you can buy crystals, these crystals, and then you can use these crystals. This is what you should be buying. Buy a monthly ticket. 
or a weekly ticket if you can afford one to these crystals. Why do you want to buy this? Because this item gives incredible rewards. I mean, not rewards, but benefits such as listing items for free, tax reduction, daily reputation plus 40 percent and the best thing i can use my warehouse from anywhere i don't need to go to the warehouse manually right here i can use it from anywhere so i'll always have extra bag space by doing that and then of course buying back more bag space would be good too so if you buy bag space right here you can equip more more items in your bag so that is all the tips last tip tip number 12 is make sure guys this is super important make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for more tarzan content and guides okay obviously you guys should do that but that is it all the beginner tips for tarzan hopefully these tips help you guys out on your tarzan journey i wish you a lot of luck check out this video right here and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye